I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. Our victories came at a high price. They always do. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. You're right, Lana. Now's the time. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? I'm loyal to the Empire. As I expected. I'll reach out to my contacts in the Empire. They'll be in touch shortly. Identity confirmed. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Commander. I'm Advanced Protocol Unit NRO2. I specialize in diplomacy, translation, manslaughter, and calumniation. I think we'll get along just fine. My master only requires subservience, not geniality. The Empire appreciates your loyalty and fully supports this upcoming partnership. As leader of the Alliance, you will boost morale and align your allies under one banner. With war impending and resources dwindling, your first priority is protecting our fuel, food supply, and raw materials. We must keep them out of Republic hands. I was hoping for something a bit more violent. I'm certain the Republic will throw many incompetent soldiers in your path. Acceptable losses in times of war. There are reports of a conflict brewing on the planet Osis. With your help, the Alliance could tip the balance in the Empire's favor. In the meantime, return to Odessa to await further contact. Long live the Empire. Greetings, Commander. I am Moff Paladin, Overseer of the Sith Empire's 22nd Assault Fleet. It is a tremendous honor to speak with a Sith Lord of your power and stature, as always. Your past deeds as the Empire's wrath are truly inspirational. That you have risen to the leadership of such an influential galactic faction is only fitting. I hope to strengthen the bond of friendship between your alliance and the Empire. How very kind of you. Perhaps you could tell me why you're so interested in our friendship. Permit me to explain. A small Imperial strike team is currently engaged in a covert operation on the ancient Jedi world of Osus. I am hoping that you can provide them with some assistance. 
What kind of assistance? The operation is being overseen by a younger member of the Dark Council, Darth Malora, Head of Scientific Advancement. While Malora possesses a brilliant mind, not unlike Empress Asina's, she has little of our previous ruler's patience for the subtleties of military operations. Malora's objective was meant to be completed by now. Pressed to deliver results, she will likely hurl troops at the problem without regard for strategy. My finest infantry soldiers, Raven Squad, are participating in the operation. It would be a great loss to the Empire if their lives were wasted. Malora. I believe I had dealings with her on Korriban long ago. Ah, good. Then you'll already be one step ahead. I crushed her efforts to undermine her master. I doubt it ended well for her. That may complicate matters. Unfortunately, I know of no one else capable of resolving this situation. As a member of the Dark Council, Malora is beyond my influence. But someone like yourself, an outsider whose allegiance is greatly valued, you could accomplish much that I cannot. I can investigate the situation. What is the strike team's mission on Osus? The Jedi have established a secret colony on the planet. We believe they're using it to train and ready themselves for war. The Jedi's numbers are already low. If this training compound can be destroyed, we will be at an inarguable advantage when full-scale hostilities begin. This seems straightforward enough. Why are you so sure Darth Malora will fail? I do not believe she will fail. Her power is not in question. I only fear the cost of that victory. I will forward all of my available data on Malora and the operation. Your assistance will no doubt ensure the mission's success. I am certain that Emperor Vauron will be most appreciative. Thank you for your time, Commander. I shall look forward to word of your triumph. Glory to the Empire. Glory to the Empire, Moff. I would recommend that you travel to Osus alone. We wouldn't want Malora or her troops to see this as a show of force, or confuse her with unexpected allies. Translation? Definitely don't take the former Republic spy, or anyone else they might be inclined to shoot on sight. It is important to make a good first impression. Great. We're back on the haircut. I'll see that a shuttle is prepared for you. May the Force serve you well, Commander. No sudden moves, if you please. I'm here to help. That a fact? At the request of Moff Pyron. Well, that's a different story. You do look familiar, somehow. We worked together before. Ugh, this ruckus is intolerable. I'm trying to concentrate. What is the meaning of all this? You! I should have known some glory hound like you would slither their way into my grandest achievement. Just what business does the Alliance have here, Commander? I'm here to see that this mission gets done. If that's not why you're here, then get out of my way. Of all the presumptuous, arrogant... This is my operation. I will see it done my way. If you feel you can contribute, I'm sure the Major can use your help for something or other. Whatever you end up doing, do it quietly. I need to focus on my creations. Her creations are just as likely to get us killed as any Jedi. Idiot. 
I'm inclined to kill her before we even get started. Maybe you could get away with something like that. But if a dark counselor gets killed on my watch, it'll be paperwork all the way to the chopping block. Let's buckle down, huh? Objective is to trash the Republic colony, take out all the Jedi we can find. We've got troops ready, willing, and able. Does her Sithly eminence send us to do that? Or does she hold us all back while she works on her little science project? Science project? Geonosians. Mutated, turbocharged, psycho Geonosians. They're killers. She got that much right. They just don't care who they're killing, imp or rep. Buggy freaks clipped one of my boys, Brax, while he was out on patrol. No comms and he hasn't made it back. Dead or alive, his gear's got info that could give away our position. Can't risk that. Was just about to go looking for him. Care to join? Sounds better than staying here. Why not? Great. Uh, just one thing before we go. You're not gonna snake us like you did a scene at an Iacath, are you? Need to know you're not backing the Republic this time. Iocath was a mistake from the beginning. I regret everything that happened. All right. For now. Ready to go whenever you are, Commander. Tell me about the new Dark Council. Still works more or less the same way, just less seats. The twelve organizations got merged into five. Still got one Sith on top of each of them. They handle the day-to-day -day stuff and report to Emperor Valron. Actually been pretty stable since it was reformed. They're not all as quirky as Melora either. Some good heads in there, like Krobos. All right, nothing here. Let's keep moving. What do you think of Emperor Valron? Bit of a talker for my taste, but he's been around long enough. Sith don't live as long as him if they don't know a thing or two. Still, a bit hard to believe the old Emperor was planning to eat us all. Guess we all owe you for that one, huh? So, you know, thanks for saving the galaxy and everyone I ever loved. Anyway, nothing on the scanner. We can keep moving. Are non-human military officers common now? Getting there? I'm one of the first to get a rank like this. But the numbers are getting better every day. I had a bit of a head start. When I was a slave, I was running ops for my old master. Made his actual troops furious. He was a colonel in the infantry. Special forces. Every mission he gave me, I ran circles around all his fancy officers. Got me a commission the minute they changed the rules. What happened to your master? Crusty old Slimo's dead. Good riddance. Not picking up anything here. Let's move on. I should contact the Alliance. Our forces could finish this in a matter of hours. I'll bet they would. <sighs> but we can't risk long-range comms. Jedi might pick it up. They hear a message like that, they'll clear out before we can do any real damage. Sure would be nice to see a real assault force, though. I'm told the war with Zakul was costly. What is the status of the Imperial military? Nowhere near the numbers we had in the old days. Just not enough materials and fuel and food to make it happen. Still a few steps ahead of the Republic, at least. We can thank Asina for that. She managed to rebuild a lot of warships without Zakul knowing. Is that what Moff Pyron was up to? You'll have to ask him. Blast. Still nothing. You know, I'm having a thought. Melora loaded the first wave of mutants on a shuttle, planning to drop them near the colony. They broke loose, shuttle went down, big surprise. It didn't go down far from here. We get the sensors on that bird working, we can scan a lot further. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Background radiation has the scanner all twisted up. This might take a few minutes. Two very exciting minutes, apparently. Let them come. I'm not sure these Geonosians are all that Melora makes them out to be. I'd love to watch you give her some feedback. Let's see now. Okay. Got him! That's Brax, all right. Let's get moving. <laughs> Brax, 
Alex. Been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, boss. Been quite a day. Looks like it isn't over yet, either. More Geonosians. Ready if you are. Still in one piece, Sergeant? Not quite, Major, but close enough. Thanks for the save. Thank you both. Pardon, it's been a long day, but... Are you... Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Aw, little Braxy doesn't think he's worthy of a celebrity rescue. Such a weird day. Honor to meet you, Commander. You did well to survive alone against so many of those creatures. Knock it off. You make the poor boy blush. Braxy is probably my top scout. We'd be in a real mess without him. Hey, probably. So impress me, why don't you? Well, as a matter of fact, you know anything about a stealth supply drop coming in today? Nothing on the schedule. You saw one come in. I did. Landed near here. It was on my way there when the bugs pinned me down. Only thing you're on your way to is a Bacta tank. We'll check out the supply drop site. You up for a bit more action, Commander? What kind of supplies are you expecting? Wasn't expecting any. It's probably more lab toys for Melora. But maybe we'll luck out. Wouldn't mind some new gear. Either way, we best find it before the Jedi do. Your ride's on its way, Brax. We'll see you back in camp. Much obliged. to find real working farms here. Wonder how they're managing to grow anything in soil this bad. I didn't take you for a farmer. More of a gardener. Flowers, mainly. You're joking. Keep that sunny disposition. I might even send you a few. found soil reclamators that could handle a job like this. Jedi must have brought a few engineers along. Is it weird that this is making me hungry? Starting to pick up a lot of chatter on the Jedi channels. Looks like it's coming from the other side of the farm. Let's check over there. Can you open it? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. My authorization code won't cut it. Gonna have to be Melora. Speaking of, we should try to convince her to let us make a play for the Jedi's farming data. If the Jedi could grow food here, they could grow it anywhere. We nab their data and wipe their computers. That could be us instead. We grow more food, we feed more soldiers, we win more battles. Huge advantage. I couldn't agree more. We'll gather what the Jedi have learned, then make sure they can't use it. I'm seeing why you're so popular, Commander. Let's call in a speeder, get this thing back to camp. order any supply drop. I don't like this. Not one bit. It's a trick. Another distraction. Something sent by a rival. Someone trying to undermine the operation. I won't fall for it. Ramble all you want. I'm opening it. One way or another. No, no. We are so close. The operation is well underway. Your super soldiers are out of control. A minor setback that I have already overcome. I have formulated a mutative virus that will alter the Geonosians' olfactory membranes and adrenal cortices, making them susceptible to pheromone interventions. We need only infect the Geonosian queen and her six broodmates with my custom viral strains. 
That will spread the changes throughout their population. Of course, accessing the Queen's chambers will be a challenge. Suicidal, even, if her three bodyguard drones aren't killed first. No! I impossible! You died! I am Darth Malgus. I speak with the full power of the Sith Empire, and I am in command now. You. I wasn't expecting you to be a part of this operation. I trust you share our goal. The complete eradication of all Jedi on this planet. I think this operation will be better off with me running things. These are Imperial troops operating an Imperial base. They are not yours to command. Too much time has been wasted already. We will begin by blinding and silencing our enemy. Who is the ranking military officer? Here, my lord. Major Anri. All Jedi communications and sensors must be jammed before we attack. Take as many soldiers as you need to complete this task. I'll only need one person to get that job done. Commander, would you be so kind? Let's get this operation back on track. Ready when you are, Commander. Looks like you can shut their sensors down from there. I'm gonna do a quick sweep. See if you can't find a copy of their farming data while you're at it. Data received. I'm now infiltrating the Jedi computer system. All data on their crop and soil rejuvenation programs will be copied and then deleted. You have served the Empire well. Congratulations, Commander. Are we set? Raven to nest. Job's done. Enemy is dark. Excellent. All units are prepared. We have traced the bulk of the Jedi to an ancient library. That is our objective. Coordinates received. We'll meet you there. For the Empire. The library. The whole reason I accepted this pitiful assignment. You survived. I never would have made the Dark Council if a little shove were enough to kill me. What's so special about the library? Knowledge. Research and documentation of long-forgotten techniques gathered from both the Sith and the Jedi. Not to worry. I won't stand in your way. Complete the mission. I will simply pick over the remains for what I seek. Come back with us. We can finish this together. If Malgus had leave to remove me from command, then my time as a Dark Council member is over. I will not return. I'm surprised you would even ask. My Alliance could use your knowledge. I think you and Dr. Ogorob would get along well. Hmm, an intriguing offer. Unexpected, but intriguing. I'll consider it. Get on with your work, but know this. When Asina put Malgus back together, she also put him on a leash. Thauran may hold the leash now, but he is not the only one who can pull it. Strange lady, that one. Any luck with the farming data? I found everything we need. I've already sent it to Imperial Command. Outstanding. You don't know what a difference this is going to make. Reps will be too busy fighting for scraps to fight us. All right, time to hit the library. Major Anri. What's your plan? Not a plan. A proposition. You came to Osus to aid our mission. 
As the galaxy marches to war, you fight to see our empire triumph over its ancient enemies. Together, you and I can strike the first blow in that battle. We will find the leader of these Jedi, Nost Dural, and defeat him. We will show the galaxy that no Jedi can stand against our combined might. Just as the Republic cannot stand against the combined might of the Empire and your alliance. Our enemies will remember this moment as the beginning of their end. Major, take the rest of the troops and sweep the building. Eradicate all who oppose you. We will do the same. <laughs> Jedi Master Nos Dural. Darth Malgus, alive and well. This explains the sudden shift to more aggressive tactics against us. And you must be the commander of the Alliance. Ultimate destroyer of the Sith Emperor. A story I would have loved to document. A pity that two such influential leaders would waste their potential by traveling here just to burn some old books and kill an old man. to root out all of the Jedi. Didn't you hear the screams? Only the weak choose fear as their weapon. Let's find out if you can live up to your respective legends. So be it. Jedi. House and Durak. Van Zalo. Norman Carr. Darth Barras. Tenebrae. It seems I'll be meeting my fate in distinguished company. Left to me, this library will be your grave, Jedi. But your fate is in the Commander's hands. I'd say you have the right idea. Kill him before he bores us to death with another lecture. We finished here. Rally the surviving troops outside. Yes, my lord. the camp. Major, all troops, return to base at once. Losses, Major. We lost a lot of equipment, some gear and supplies, several of our troops stationed on lookout, but it could have been much, much worse. Then we stand our ground. We have won a great victory today. This trifling attack will not chase us away. Major, see that images of Nostral's corpse are transmitted to the enemy. Aye, my lord. Commander, 
Thank you for everything. It's been a real honor. If you ever need my help again, I'm all yours. Well, I just may. Farewell. Coming broadcast from Emperor Valron. Malgus. Splendid. The dark side roils about you as deeply as ever. I take that to mean you've had a productive day. Yes, Emperor. Countless Jedi lie dead, including the leader of their colony here, Master Nos Dural. His death will shake them to their core. I do enjoy it when you savor your work so fully, but there's something more. Farms. Not as intriguing as our eternal enemies, perhaps, but a crucial element in any wartime logistical structure. Soldiers must be fed, after all. Apparently the Jedi had extensive farms on Osus, a world that shouldn't support crops of any kind. How could they have achieved this marvel? Thanks to the Alliance Commander, our scientists have the answer. Data from the Jedi's own computers. Our soldiers shall be well fed in the campaigns to come. I'm glad that I could be of service, Emperor. And what of the remaining Jedi, Emperor? The fleet has detected them scattering like insects. We will intercept those we can, and leave a token force behind to defend Osus from any future trespassers. For you, dear Malgus, the mission is over. Return at once. We have some preparations to attend to. Now then, Commander, my dear old friend, where you go, victory is always soon to follow. The aid of your alliance is much appreciated. We have only just begun this fresh war with the Republic, but someday soon, when our ultimate triumph comes, I am certain that you will be leading the charge. Farewell. I must prepare to depart immediately. I can't understand why you would bow to someone like Valron. You should hope that you never do. Today, we began a war. One that I've already fought twice. Twice our empire has set the galaxy ablaze. Twice we have tried to burn away the hypocrisies and weaknesses of the Republic and their Jedi. Twice we have failed. We must not fail again, Commander, for there is precious little tinder left to keep our fire burning. Farewell.